It is the 50th ordinary session of the ECOWAS Summit of Heads of State and Government as leaders of the sub-region converged on Abuja to review issues affecting the region. Chairperson of ECOWAS and President of the Republic of Liberia, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, setting the tone, expresses concern about the security situation in the sub-region and the political impasse in Gambia and Guinea-Bissau. We remain very concerned about the Boko Haram recurring attacks in Nigeria and other countries of the Lake Chad Basin. There is equal concern regarding terrorist attacks on civilians and military targets in Mali. The negative impact of these attacks do not take away from the significant progress of President Keita and his government in the implementation of the Malian Peace and Reconciliation Agreements. Moreover, the Chief of Defense Staff at recent regional meetings have formulated strategies, security inventions to address these terrorist activities. The Federal Republic of Nigeria and Chief Host advocates the need for heads of state to manage conflicts more effectively by paying greater attention to conflict prevention mechanisms in the sub-region. We have substantially enhanced our capacity for dealing with conflict as simply demonstrated in the good intervention of the community without tension and with a slow peace in mind in the South and in the Kingdom of Basra. The efforts of multinational drill task force in conversion terrorism in Nigeria and in the neighboring countries have significantly degraded the capacity of Boko Haram in the region even though separatic attacks on sub-targets have been recorded in the past few weeks, just as we have sustained the military pressure on the terrorists. The Special Representative of the United Nations Secretary General for West Africa, while pledging the commitment of the United Nations to support a peaceful transfer of power in Gambia, condemns the terrorist attacks in the sub-region. We condemn the recurrent attacks against countries of the sub-region, the most recent of which was perpetrated yesterday in Burkina Faso. Our condolences to the families of the fallen troops, and we wish those injured a very speedy recovery. The meeting, which later continued behind closed doors, is expected to extensively discuss the political situation in Gambia and Guinea-Bissau, in addition to addressing the security challenges bedeviling the sub-region.